Hi guys! So today I have another makeup tutorial for you guys and this time I'm showing you my go-to glowy makeup look. It is so easy, the eye makeup is so easy and I just pair it with a nude lip every single time I wear this and I really wanted to show you how I achieve this glowy skin type of look. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started then. To prime my skin, I shall use the Guerlain Meteorite Pearl, and this is the most luminous primus at primus, primer I have, and I love how it looks and feels on my skin. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and the Body Shop Lightning Drops to get my perfect shade. I'm quite pale at the moment, that's why I need to use the Body Shop Lightning Drops. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this is my favorite drugstore foundation. I just really love the finish of it and it is really affordable. That's why I love it so much. And to blend everything out as per usual, I shall use my Real Techniques Medical Complexion Sponge. I reapply foundation where I have most redness and I need a little bit more coverage. So yeah, blending it out with the Real Techniques Sponge again. And for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. The one that I always use, my favorite one. And I apply it on the typical places and blend it out most of it with my finger, my ring finger. And I blend it all out as much as I can and apply a little bit on, on my eyelid to, pry, to prime them. And I grab my sponge and remove all the excess concealer that I have there. And next for highlighting, I will be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's in the shade Fair and as you can see, it's quite pale. And even though I'm pale right now, it still highlights my face. That's why I really, really love this concealer and the finish of it. And it's so, so nice. I love it so much. I blend it again with my sponge and just blend, blend, blend. Lots of blending here as per usual. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> so yeah. I immediately set my concealer afterwards and to set it I will be using the Real Color Stay Smooth Finishing Powder with my Artiste uh, highlighting brush in the number 53 and I just set my under eyes and my T-zone. I make sure that's matte first because it creases first and it gets oily first so yeah. Now to make my skin glowy I use the MAC Mineral Skin Finish and a big powder brush and just add it all over my face. My face. And to make it a little bit more matte, I just go over with the same powder and that's how I get my glowy, not too glowy look. To bronze up my skin, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I almost forgot the name there. And yeah, I put a little bit on my nose and my chin and my neck as well. Now for blusher, I'm using the NYX 09 HD 09 Bitten Blush with a Dua Fiber Brush. For highlight, I will be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal with my Real Techniques setting brush and I put it as per usual on the top of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin and a little bit my brow bone but I don't think I showed you there. But yeah, to set everything I'm going to use the Australis Makeup Spritz. Now for brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer. I brush my brows and then I just do tiny little feather like strokes and just try to fill them in as natural as naturally as possible. I don't want to have really bold brows. I really look for a natural brow, but even though I have like quite bushy brows, it quite looks it looks quite bold anyways. But yeah, I fix up the mistakes with the with that angle brush and my Urban Decay concealer and set my brows with the ABH Clear Brow Gel. Next, for my eyes, I will be using the Kat Von D Interstellar Palette. And for my crease, I'm going to use this Smashbox brush and that brown shade and just use a tiny amount and blend it and just blend, 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 blend. They're so pigmented, but yeah, you have to be really careful. Um, just blend them out. And then using that bone shade, I apply it on my brow bone and then drag it down so it just fades and just smooths down that brown because I don't want it to be too harsh in the beginning. Yeah, then I flip the Smashbox brush and use the same brown shade and smoke my lower lash line. Now, sorry I went off camera right there, but as you can see, I just smoke it out a tiny bit. And then going in again with the fluffy side, the fluffy brush. As you can see, I just grabbed a tiny bit and just started on the outer corner so it has most pigment out there. And just blend everything. Next, I'm going to spritz my brush with my glycerin rose water mixture in my Mix Fix Plus bottle. And then with that brownie silvery shade, it's a, a really nice brown 
shade. I don't know how to explain it. I just apply all over my lid and just drag it into my crease. And then with my Smashbox brush, I blend everything out. And then using this silvery, it has like a silver glitter shimmer going through it. So it just, it's just really sparkly. And I love the dimension it gives to the look. So I just apply that on the lid and just drag it outwards. And then for my lashes, I'm going to curl them with the e.l.f. eyelash curler I got back in August in my USA haul. I'll link that down below if you want to see it. And now for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. It's my fave. So yeah, I just apply it and as per usual, just make a mess. Yeah. I'm just going to clean up with a cotton swab afterwards, don't worry. Just let it dry and flick it right off. So this is how the eye look is looking like <laughs> it is finished this is what it looks like it's really really easy as you can see but now now for lips i'm using the kaylin liquid lipstick i'm not really sure the full name what the full name is i'll link everything down below if you're interested in any of the products and you want to purchase them yourself um but i really recommend to you guys these lipsticks they are really really long lasting and I, I can even eat with these and they won't come off maybe just a tiny bit if you eat oily food but aside from that they're amazing so check them out they're the Kaylin liquid lipsticks but yeah um this is the finished look guys thank you so much for watching let me just pop on my beanie and yeah it matches my lip color that's why i used it today but yeah i love you guys so much and if you like the video please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you in my next video bye channel so today I have another makeup video for you guys I wanted to make this look quite glittery smoky glowy